camera. <laughs> the glasses. Right, so I'm going to have a walk around the three lakes that we are going to be fishing. Check these out. Going around the three lakes that we're going to be fishing on Saturday. It's raining now. Right, so this behind me. Here we go. Big, 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 big reservoir. Here's lake number two. Um, just come to have a mooch about, see what it's about. I'll tell you what though, look at the colour of that water. It's not chocolate. I've no idea, I don't, I'm not really feeling it on here. My first choice would actually be to come on here this time of year. There's a fair little bench. There's a fair few fish in here, nothing massive. But we've got more chance of oh, cold fit. There it is, blue tip, cold fit. Oh, you see? Lovely. So, there's a few fish in here. But with that water clarity, being so cloudy. In January, pissing in the wind, the weather starts warming up. Come down, you can come down here for a day and just go stalking around these trees, sort of thing. Those fish up, up and down the margins here. So, be good fun this one. Yeah. Is that telling us something? Is that the bank we need to be on? <laughs> Look down here. There is actually a peg. The water's that high. Got no chance, sun. Rainbow. If you believe in signs, signs from the carp rods. It is quite really good viewing area. This area is a really good area in summer. There are usually a good handful of fish milling about here. Can't fish in here because it's absolutely strewn with logs, debris, branches under the water. Um, as you can see from this peg you can go into like the entrance to this area and then if you just look there the distance a nice overhanging tree. Good fish holding spot. That might be a one for the uh, warmer weather, I think. I mean, they might be here now, they might be shoaled up. But I'd, I'd put a wager on them being sort of out in the middle for some reason. You always think that in winter, don't you? Winter out in the middle. Who knows, you can swim. It's a nice day though, I mean it's on and off with rain but that sun's coming out now which is lovely. There we go, this is a fish holding spot right here. Good from um, that bank casting over here. He loved these lakes. They are lovely. Anyway, so that's two. And then you've got this is two. Behind that, over there, number one. Number three. Now this one. I like this lake. I really do. You can only fish from this bank up in summer. 
the lily pads that come up on this lake are unreal. Just chock full of lily pads and obviously finding a little hole in the lily pads where you can put a bait, you're always going to be sort of on edge expecting good fish holding area. Uh, I'll just mention number two as well. So we've got, I'll take you down that bank in a second. So the main body of water, I'd say, is that. And then you've got a little arm that comes around here. And then it opens up again over there. Come to a lot of Canada geese. Good old chuck to the far margin, I don't know how far that is. I'd say, oh, that's a big chuck that. 160 yards, something like that. Big distance, but you got a nice tree there as well. But again, all the lily pads run along that margin. All the way up, so all this, where my finger is, that will be the lily pads so yeah exciting water that one can't wait to fish it so then we go back up here onto number two and this is the arms it's only short chuck to the other side uh, fish some fish moving along there I've actually caught a few along there it's hard to see with the storm, but where I'm zooming in there, you can actually get down to the uh, water's edge, hide in the bushes, close quarters, dog biscuits. Good method of catching. What a day! Look at that. That is atmosphere. Oh, it's just come dark. Atmospheric. So, this is the social bank. You ain't going to want to bivvy up on here, you'll have to bivvy up up top and it's a long run down to your rods. Don't get pissed. So we walk around now, three's over that bank. This is the sort of arm. And then it opens up a little bit, fish get in here. And then this is the runoff. Still on my walk about, and I just thought I'd show you this. It's a wicked little elf cup. Now I've seen them usually like that on a, a log. This one actually growing from some wood underneath the leaf litter. If I just move this out of the way, yeah. So that's actually growing from a fallen log. See another tiny one there. That is a new one for me. The stem of an elf cup. Or the stalk. 